Hey, this is James from Warrior Network. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to feel amazing whilst you are fasting. So I just need to quickly sort the camera out. Uh, we're here in uh, England, very cold England, horrible, horrible cold. Okay, even though we're inside, we've got the heating on it still. It's still pretty damn cold here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to make sure that when we're fasting, we feel great. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to make sure that our electrolytes are kept up. Because sometimes when you're fasting, if you are feeling a bit faint maybe, or a bit weak or something like that, then it might be because your electrolytes are low. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be mix mixing up a solution of salt and potassium with a little bit of baking soda as well to make sure that you keep your electrolytes topped up. And by doing this, you can actually fast for a lot longer. You can still train and work out and exercise as well, especially if you've got a lot of body fat on you as well. Then there's no excuse not to be able to do the longer fasts. So for me personally, when I'm doing my 23 hour fast, uh, which is my normal routine, I normally don't, don't always do this because it's just not necessary. Uh, if you're eating, if you're eating well when you eat and if you are eating uh, vegetables as well, you're getting potassium. And if you're salting up your food as well, which I do do a lot of, so it's not always actually necessary, but sometimes I like to do this anyway, just to make sure that I'm getting enough potassium in. So let's do it. I'm just going to show you guys in this video how to mix it up. Okay, this is the, um, okay. So I've actually got a litre of water here. Okay. Now when you're starting off with this, what I'd recommend is that you actually go for about two litres. Okay, just so that you can check to make sure that you don't have any like diarrhea. Okay, because sometimes if, you, if you're taking in too much salt or too much potassium, then maybe, you know, you might get the runs or something. So start off with two liters, okay, with the measurements that I'm gonna put in here. For me personally, I do it with, I like to do a liter, okay. So the first thing is, is salt, okay. The first thing we're gonna put in is salt. Now I recommend that you use either sea salt or Himalayan pink salt. Okay, Himalayan pink salt is uh, easy to get off the internet or health food shop, something like that. Wonderful stuff. I normally get the cool stuff. And then what I do is I have a little grinder thing here. Okay, a little salt mill. Okay, and um, just put it in there and it's all, and also I use this on my food as well. Absolutely delicious. So, the reason I've got the other salts here is because I generally would not recommend using this kind of salt, okay, the table salt or um, any of this kind of stuff. Now the reason for this is because usually it's got anti-caking in it, it's got anti-caking agents in them, okay, which is not good, okay, we don't really want that stuff inside our bodies. Um, if, if you can't get potassium for whatever reason, then, you know, this is sort of like the you know, sort of like the next best thing. If you can get something like this, um, that's got, you know, sort of like a mix. I mean, this has got 51% uh, potassium chloride and 48% salt in it. Okay, so this is kind of like worst case scenario. Um, this is, you know, as you can see, I, I don't actually use that. I haven't used either of these. For, in fact, they're years old. So I certainly recommend going for the pink salt. And we also want potassium chloride. Okay, really important electrolyte. If you can, you do the research on this, um, you'll find out that potassium chloride and the salt work together. So you kind of need to get the balance correct. Otherwise, if you have too much potassium, the body can release sodium, uh, which is basically salt, and vice versa. Okay, we're not going to get too technical because we're not medical experts here. We're just speaking from experience, okay, on what works. So what we do is we take our water. Okay, preferably filtered water. Okay, and like I said, go for two liters. And what we're going to do is we're going to go for about, I normally go for about, I kind of go for about three quarters of a teaspoon. Okay, so I'll just grind up some salt. Okay, now for me personally, I do go quite heavy on the salt. Okay, so in, hope you guys can see that on the video. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually I'm going for quite a, you know, quite a lot of salt actually. Let's say start off with half a teaspoon. Okay, if this is the first time that you're doing this, go for the two liters and start with a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, so I don't want you guys getting in the runs or something and then sending me nasty messages and you gave me the or something. Okay, next thing we want is potassium. Okay, now don't overdo it on the potassium and whatever you do, do not put potassium in capsules, okay, and then swallow them because it will mess your gut up. It will, it's not good for the stomach, okay, if you do it like that. It's too concentrated, okay. So what we want to do is we're going to go for about that much potassium, okay. So, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of half, okay. If you're just starting, okay, go for quarter, all right, quarter of a teaspoon if you're just starting this. The reason I'm going slightly heavier on the doses with a litre is because I know that I will be completely fine on this. That can make me feel amazing, all right. Okay, one thing to bear in mind is that the potassium doesn't taste the best, okay. So what you might want to do is put in some baking soda okay now this is actually good for the kidneys if uh, especially if you if you're doing a dry fast okay we'll talk about dry fasting on a different video uh, but for the purpose of this I normally put in a little bit of baking soda because it's good for the kidneys for flushing out the kidneys and it's also good for the taste it make this state make this stuff taste really really good one thing with this okay if you are about to eat then you probably want to stop drinking stop drinking this about I would say a couple of hours before you start eating, okay, if it's got baking soda in it, because baking soda will reduce your hydrochloric acid in your stomach, okay, it will weaken it slightly, okay, you'll still be okay, but just to be optimal, all right, stop drinking this stuff about two hours before you eat. Now, if you're following the Warrior Network protocol, you should only be eating once a day anyway, so it won't be a problem. All right, so for this stuff, what I'm going to do... Uh, again, I go quite heavy on this. I would recommend that you start off with a quarter, okay, a quarter of a teaspoon. So I'm going to go for that much. That's what I normally do. All right. And then what we do is we shake it all up. Okay. And that's it. We now have our solution. So I'm just going to give it a quick taste. That's good. Yeah. That does taste good. Okay. One other thing that you can do if you want to is you could also put some of this in it. Okay. Cayenne pepper. If you want to give it a bit of a spice and uh, a bit of a kick, then this stuff is really, really good. Um, again, about, you know, sort of like quarter to a half a teaspoon. Okay. Just start off small, smaller doses and work your way up, okay, once you know that it's all okay. This stuff is good for the stomach, it's good for the gut, and it gives you a nice kick as well. Very nice stuff. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gents. That's what I wanted to show you. And then basically you just drink that sort of like throughout the day. You know, there's no minimum requirement. There's no, you know, don't go overboard with it. You don't need to. Um, if you find that you're urinating a lot, okay, especially if your urine is very... Um, clear, then that probably means that you are drinking too much. Okay, we're not supposed to be urinating all the time, you know. Um, if, if you're urinating very, very clear, then it's probably, you know, you might want to slow down on the fluid intake. Okay, so do that. It will help to keep your electrolytes up. Okay, so you can still exercise. You can still live a fulfilled life, even though you are fasting and in the meantime what's happening is is obviously your body is repairing you're getting the autophagy effects of fasting you're getting the growth hormone effects of fasting and of course you are burning body fat okay so do it all right and feel great whilst fasting i'm going to go and work out now and i'll talk to you on the next video